Stan Jibalisco here. I'm going to show you a cube for rendering all possible colors, or at least all possible within reason. 256 cubed different colors, or 16,777,216 individual colors. This is commonly used in your computer displays where each value red shown on the vertical axis here R G shown on the receding axis green blue B shown on the horizontal axis each one of these colors can range from a value of 0 up through 255 so red 0 to 255, green 0 to 255, and blue 0 to 255 gives you a total of 16,777,216 different points within this cube, each point corresponding to a unique color or hue. We have to distinguish between color and pigment. Pigments are the kind of thing you might see on a piece of paper. Uh, something that reflects light back at you is a pigmented object, whereas color refers to actual sources of light, like the sun, like a light bulb, and like your computer screen. I'm showing the gray line running diagonally through this cube where the value of R, G, and B are all equal. Whenever you have that situation, you have a various shade of gray, ranging, of course, all the way from black to white. I didn't make the line variable in shade, mainly because I couldn't in this computer program. But that is the red, green, blue, or RGB color model commonly used in computer displays and have been for quite a number of years now. Just thought this was kind of a unique dimensional way to portray it. A cube with over 16 million different points, but they are individual points. It's not an infinite number of different colors, but for all intents and purposes, you can consider it infinite. Stan Jabalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.